Fox News exclusive. For the first time, we're hearing from a relative of an elderly woman accused of shooting and killing her grandson. We first told you about the story last week. 76-year-old Mary Jordan charged with murder in the death of Dana Jordan. Court documents say she has confessed to the crime. And tonight, a family member is detailing what may have led up to it. Our Ariel Mallory in the studio now. Ariel, you talk with a woman who says she was the very first person Mary Jordan called after the shooting. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. I sat down with Alfe Prince, the cousin, to Mary and Dana Jordan. She says she refused to believe what her cousin was telling her and could never see her doing something like this. Well, she quickly realized how real it was when she drove to her house and saw all the police. They know Mary wouldn't do nothing like that if she didn't have to. That's what I would say. And Mary would say, I'm sorry. Still a lot of questions surrounding what led 76 year old Mary Jordan to allegedly shoot and kill her grandson, Dana Jordan. Tonight, one family member is speaking out, hoping to answer some of those questions. This was the scene at Mary Jordan's house on Circle Drive Wednesday morning. Crime tape surrounding the home. Alfe Prince, Jordan's cousin, says she got a call early that morning hearing something she couldn't believe. She called me back. And, uh, I said, I told you, I got to go to the doctor. She said, Faye, I just uh, killed Dana. I said, oh, girl, stop playing. You know you ain't killed nobody. Prince says she quickly realized it was no joke. Pritchard police say the 38-year-old was shot multiple times. Court documents say Mary was upset with her grandson from the night before. According to Prince, issues between the two started building up long before the shooting. I don't know what kind of old. He had on Mary, but he had a hold on her. And I think she was defending herself. I don't know what it was, you know, but I know every time she talked to me, it was all about money. Prince says the victim had been living with his grandmother for some time and says Jordan started noticing things missing. First he got 800, then he came back for 400 that he took. Then Mo, that's a, that was the boiling point right there. You taking everything I got. At one point, Prince couldn't hold back her emotions as she's still in shock at what was happening in her family. She feels Mary tried to do everything she could to help Dana. Mary just wouldn't do that. I mean, Dana was her favorite. <laughs> you get that old. You're supposed to relax. And... She don't need to relax in that way. Not in jail for trying to get somebody off of her. Now, Mary Jordan is still in Metro jail being held on a $100,000 bond. She's scheduled to appear in court on Wednesday. Now, according to court documents, she does not have a criminal history. Live tonight in the studio, Ariel Mallory, Fox 10 News.